It's News Radio 1029 KRN. Kevin Miller joined by Senator Tom Cotton. Good morning, sir. How are you? Hey, Kevin. It's good to be on with you. Oh, thank you for being here. Uh, purchasing heavy water from Iran, not something you're for because it's costing taxpayer money. Let's define it. What is heavy water? <laughs> well, uh, heavy water has been in the news a lot lately because the administration proposes to use taxpayer dollars to subsidize Iran's nuclear program. Heavy water is, is literally just heavy water. It's water uh, like we drink or shower in that has a slightly heavier atomic weight. Um, it's naturally occurring, but it has to be um, removed from regular water. It is a critical part of a nuclear program, though, both a civilian nuclear energy program and a nuclear power program. Uh, the uh, Ayatollahs in Iran manufacture heavy water. They are obligated under the nuclear deal to stay below certain levels. We are not obligated to take their heavy water. We're certainly not obligated to give taxpayer funds their nuclear program for it. That's exactly what President Obama proposes to do. I don't think the American taxpayer should be subsidizing the nuclear program of a bunch of crazed Ayatollahs who chant death to America, though. Uh, what do they do with their heavy water if they've got? Where does it end up? Is it? I mean, is it a bad thing if it goes somewhere else? No, so heavy water is not dangerous. It's not radioactive. It's not dangerous in normal quantities. Um, it goes to the nuclear power industry in the United States, for instance, or in other countries like France, Germany, Japan, who have nuclear power programs. Um, the United States typically imports our heavy water from India, Canada, Argentina, countries that are uh, friendly and certainly don't have nuclear weapons programs or chant death to America or foment terrorism around the world. Um, so the administration says they're going to use this heavy water in our nuclear industry here in the United States. That's not my objection. My objection is using taxpayer dollars to subsidize Iran's nuclear program, which is above and beyond any obligation the president signed in the nuclear deal with Iran. It is Senator Tom Cotton, uh, a revised version of the Sentencing Reform and Corrections Act, and you've got some serious questions about this. Yeah, I, I don't think that we should let violent and repeat felons out of federal prison. Um, in Arkansas, we tend not to incarcerate people for long times for mere drug possession. Uh, we try to get them into rehabilitation or try to put them in some kind of alternative um, course of action. That's The same is true in the federal prison system. Less than one-half of one percent, which means less than a thousand uh, people are in the federal prison for something like simple possession. Most of those are actually repeat offenders who pleaded down for more serious offenses. But this proposal uh, would allow thousands of serious and repeat felons back on the streets, and given recidivism rates, it's inevitable. If we do so, then we're going to see more crime. We're going to see more murders. We're going to see more rapes. We're going to see more property theft. It's already happened in recent years as the Sentencing Commission has used its discretion to allow almost 50,000 uh, felons early, and many of those people have already committed heinous crimes again. I think we should be focused on effective policing and turning around people once they've served their sentences, not letting fel felons get out of prison early. Is there a latitude with this, uh, folks that are on uh, or in prison for simple drug charges? Do you look at each case individually or see if it's somebody that's uh, pled down to a greater we charge? Well, that's, that's what I would propose, and we should do that. Again, there's fewer than 2, 200,000 people in the federal prison system today, and less than one-half of 1% 1 of those are in for simple possession. So you're talking about a very small universe of people, less than 1,000. Uh, I would strongly support the Department of Justice and the president reviewing those cases, and in cases where a sentence is manifestly unjust, considering the pardon power or the commutation power. I don't think we should take a blind leap of faith that thousands of people who would be let out early under this bill or get shorter sentences in the future are not going to be a threat to our communities. Senator Tom Cotton, you had uh, questions for the Defense Secretary and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff about ISIS operations. Yes, yeah, so the President announced last week that we're going to send another uh, 250 or so troops to Iraq. Um, putting aside the wisdom of that particular decision, it shows the kind of hesitant begrudging, reluctant incrementalism that is almost always self-defeating in matters of national security. You see it also in the South China Sea as China is building islands out of the sea and now putting radars and missile systems on them. And we are sailing or flying within 12 miles, the territorial water boundaries of those islands, but then we're saying we didn't really mean to. So the president sometimes will do the right thing in the end, but the halting and begrudging manner in which he does so often undermines the exact message he's trying to send, the message of resolve in the fight against the Islamic State or the message of uh, confronting Chinese aggression in the South China Sea. It's just a very bad way to conduct national security policy. Senator Tom Cotton, good to talk to you this morning. Thanks good so to much. talk to you as always.